Don't let your heart be troubled. If you believe in God, believe in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I'll come again and receive you unto myself, so that where I am, so shall you be. These words spoke Jesus, and lifted up his eyes to heaven, and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, that your Son also may glorify you. You have given me power over all flesh, that I should give eternal life to as many as you have given me. And this is eternal life that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I have glorified you on the earth. I have finished the work you gave me to do. And now, Father, glorify me together with yourself, with the glory I had with you before the world was. I have manifested your name to the men you have given me out of the world. They were yours, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they have known that all things you have given me are from you, for I have given to them the words you have given me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I come forth from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I do not pray for the world, but for those you have given me, for they are yours, and all mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I am glorified in them. Now I am no longer in the world, but these are in the world, and I come to you, Holy Father, keep them through your name, those you have given me, that they may be one as we are. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in your name. Those whom you gave me, I have kept, and none of them is lost except the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I come to you, and these things I speak in the world, that they may have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them your word, and the world has hated them, because they are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. I do not pray that you should take them out of the world, but that you should keep them from the evil one. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, I also have sent them into the world. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself, that they also may be sanctified by the truth. I do not pray for these alone, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, that they may be one as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, that they may be one in us, that the world may believe that you sent me, and the glory which you gave me I have given them, that they may be one, just as we are one, I in them, and you in me, that they may be made perfect in one, and the world may know that you have sent me and have loved them as you have loved me. Father, I desire that they also, whom you gave me, may be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory, which you have given me, for you loved me before the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, 
The world has not known you, but I have known you, and these have known that you sent me, and I have declared to them your name, and will declare it, that the love you love me with may be in them, and I in them. Stand with him now in the spirit of truth inside us. His word forever guides us in love. Come on and 